Hello, I am Fantokimus Taika 2008, and I am here to show you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. These things are really not hard to master, and I mastered mine in about 20 minutes. It's really easy, and it's actually quite impressive if you know how to do it in front of people in your school. So, the first thing you want to know is Sing Master's Notation. Um, and it's really not hard to understand, and it's really easy to memorize, but some of the algorithms for the harder cubes, like 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five, are quite hard to remember, because they're long. Parody. Um, first off, you want to know the faces. A face with nine colors, nine squares of colors, is a face. Not a layer. A layer is a side, turn, whatever you want to call it. There are six sides and three layers, depending on what you're doing. Uh, there are six colors, the red, the orange, the white, the yellow, and the blue, and the green. Blue and green are opposites, and vice versa. Or, not vice versa, but... Yellow and white are opposites. And orange and red are opposites on a standard Rubik's Cube. Now, if you have a knockoff or Ishin, Ishin then I can, I can understand why they would be opposites. But an opposite is one that can, that, that the corners never have the same colors on. Like, you can't have a green and blue corner or a green and blue edge. Also, one thing that's really, really important uh, in, you need to know, you need to know that the centers, and relative to every other QB, it's one square, do not move, okay? They do not move. Because they're part of the, they are part of the core, which I'll show you, uh, later. First thing you need to know is... Uh, Singmaster's notation. So the f the face that is facing you, it is the f, f front face, which is abbreviated with an f. The face that is facing towards the sky is the up face. The face that is facing towards the ground is the down face. Up is abbreviated with a u. Down is abbreviated with a d. The L face is the left face that is facing towards your left. And the R face is the face that is facing towards your right. The right face. There's also one more, the back face, but we do not use that in the 3x3 three by three, three by three, um, notation as much as you do in the 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7 notation. So yeah. Uh, there's also some more complicated ones. With a 4x4, four four, there is a option, oh, first off, you need to know the turns. A letter by itself means you rotate it clockwise, 90 degrees. A letter by, a letter with a prime symbol, like the one right here, means you rotate it counterclockwise. And in a letter with a two either in front or behind it means you rotate it twice. Doesn't matter which direction that's obsolete, does not matter. So, yeah. Um There are there's another thing you need to know, but it's not nearly as important. Uh there are three three one, two, three center center slices. Center pieces are slices, outer pieces are layers, inner layers, three inner layers, I guess you could say. The one that is in between the up and the down face is the equator, the equator. It, it runs, al it's this offset one. It runs along in between the up and the down face. Uh, the middle is the slice that's in between the left and the right faces. Middle, equator, 
and standing is the one that's between the F and back, and that's this one. The offset one is the standing. You don't need to know those because we don't use them very much, so yeah. Uh, there's also the rotating the whole cube. There's also three of those. This is the Y rotating. We don't use the we don't use the rotating either. The Y rotating is you rotate on on the Y axis going up and down. So you go this way. The X axis is you rotate like this. On the X axis going horizontal. And the Z axis is when you rotate it on the Z axis, which is coming toward and away from you. So, yeah. Okay, so now I need to t teach you how to take a cube apart. So, in case you mess up uh, or somebody takes it apart for you, you can put it back together. Uh, first thing you need to do is rotate your up layer or any layer 90 degrees so that's at the corner piece. This may be tough for older cubes. I It was tough for me. What I did was take took this off and unscrewed a little bit every every single cube center so it's easier to take off. It releases the tension. What you need to do is push up, push your finger under, and pop the center piece out. And then take these these two corner pieces out. Take this edge piece out. Take this corner piece out. And just dismantle it from there. It's really easy to dismantle it from there. And as I was saying with the core, these center pieces, the center pieces, these center pieces do not move. Okay? They do not move at all. Even if you rotate them, they do not move. This is what the core looks like. Okay, so now I have to show you how to put it back together. And what you pretty much do is you find a, an edge piece. You, you want to make one at the bottom. You make a color. I normally start with white. You find an edge piece with white in it. And you, f and you find the color, the other color that matches it. In this case, it's orange. And you slide it in there. Like that. Then you find another edge piece with white in it. And then you find the corresponding color. White, blue. Like this. You just do that for all four. White, red. And need the white, green. Blue. White, green. Here's the white, green. The last one can be kind of tricky but what I normally do is I just slip it in and rotate it around now you have a cross now what you need to do is flip it so that the cross is like a anchor like this and find all of the corner pieces with white in them Two, there's four has yellow in it there it is if it has yellow in it it cannot be part of it so just okay one corner piece two corner piece three corner piece four corner piece what you need to do is find the you need to put the white as the bottom and find the edge pieces that match up to these two sides in this case it's orange and green just drop it in there like that, rotate it around, red and green, here's the red and green, like that, flip it around, here's the red and blue, like that, and finally here is the, the blue and orange, like so. Okay, now you need to find the edge pieces without yellow in them. Without. No yellow. One. Two. Three. And four. Now you need to take one of them out. I'm going to take my blue and orange one out. Set it to the side. 
then you're gonna f you're gonna put all of them in like you normally would. Put them in. And there you go. Now you need to get all the edge pieces together again. All of the yellow edge pieces together. And put take two no, one out that you don't need and set it off to the side. Then you need to this is kind of tricky, but you need to put this in and rotate it around to its designated spot. Then you need to put another one in. Well, rotate it 90 degrees and put another one in. This one can't go in because it's opposite. So you put green in. And then you need well before you do that you need to find the yellow and green re yellow, red and green piece and put it in its correct spot. And then put yellow, the yellow green in there. Rotate it around 90 degrees. And then you need to find the green and orange you need to put the green and orange piece, which is this one, its correct place. Rotate it around and put the yellow and orange edge piece in there. And look, you almost got it done. Now you're gonna take the last edge piece of the second layer and put it back in. You don't need it anymore. And now you realize that you only have three pieces left. <laughs> what you need to do is put the corner pieces in before you put the edge piece in. So, uh, yeah, put the corner piece in, put the corner piece in, obviously you can see that this is going to be the blue side, and then this can be kind of tricky, you need to make sure that you do not flip this around in the process, because if you make it like, if you put it in like this, it's unsolvable, no matter what, it's unsolvable, but make sure that the yellow is on top, and Clip it in there, and voila, your cube goes back together. I am going to cut out and make my next video, because I'm already at the limit. So, yeah. See ya uh, in part two, which I will put the annotation right here, around the cube. See ya.